Okay, so we're gonna go over what is new in the UFX trend report. So you can see the updated scanner here. And uh, in the newest update, we have uh, made a couple changes here to the UFX uh, trend report. Uh, I've just added one more feature in. Um, so let's go to a chart here that uh, we want to look at. Say we're going to look at the pound New Zealand. Uh, we're all green here and we're going to check out the one hour. So we go over to the one hour. And we're potentially in an area that we want to go long in. So if we do like this and hopefully we can come down a little bit more and then look to go long here. Obviously it's Friday so we're not going to keep the trend report on here but um, let's throw the trend report EA on here. And you're going to notice in the updated version that it's going to say UFX Trend Report EA 2.1. So this is the latest version of it. Um, you can just go to the About tab and double check that you have the newest version here. Okay, and then uh, obviously the inputs, we keep this to default. Hit OK. And what is new, if you don't see um, the menu button, then you just click the little menu button up here and it will open up. What is new? It looks relatively the same, but there is a under the trade higher, high, higher, low and the lower, low, lower, high uh, filter. You can see it says use MA entries. Okay, so this is strictly for this scanner here um, because uh, we know on the pound New Zealand that we're looking to go long uh, on the one hour chart. Uh, so obviously we would put our buy in here and we could or turn on the use MA entries and uh, possibly turn this off if you want or leave it on, it's up to you. Um, we'll turn it off for this time round and all this is going to do is if we get a signal to the long side, which is going to be a green bullish candle and um, the previous bar is between the 10 moving average and the 50 moving average, it will take the trade. Okay, so if you don't wanna sit and uh, and watch it, but you do wanna take the trade such as this one here, uh, right down in this area here, if you had this filter off, then on this candle, I'll mark a arrow here, on this buy signal here, you would have had a um, buy stop set in place. And obviously we didn't get triggered. We didn't come up high enough to get triggered into the buy. Uh, and then you can come back down and we would have had a new signal here. But without this trade higher, higher and higher low, uh, with this turned off, we would have set up a buy stop right here above this candle. Okay, now if we had this on, this on, then we wouldn't have uh, set up a buy signal on this candle. We would have set up a buy stop on this candle here. The high is greater than the previous candle's high and the low is greater than the previous candle's low. And um, also the close of this bar prior to the signal candle is between the 10 moving average and the 50 moving average. So we know we're in the spot, the EA knows we're in a spot that we wanna take the trade. Uh, the trading buys is set to true. Um, so that is it right here. And uh, like I said, if you had this off, then this signal candle here, we would have set a buy stop and the uh, close of this candle previous to the signal candle is between the 10 and the 50. Now, if we don't have this on, then it will take any of these signals such as this one here. Okay, and then it would have taken resulted in a loss and then another uh, trade right here uh, looking for the two to one or the three to one would have gotten hit. Okay, so that's it here. Um, the moving average entries will only take a trade when the previous candle, when you get a signal candle and the previous candle closes between these two moving averages. Um, so I hope that makes sense on using this new feature and I hope it helps everybody um, it's a good added feature for the trend report scanner, I believe. Um, and this way you can just, uh, if it, if it does go below the 50, it's not going to take a trade, right? Um, so I think it's a very good and essential, uh, feature for the trend report EA. 
Uh, but just remember, you're not going to want to have this on when you're um, doing a trade like this at, and you're at a weekly support and resistance, okay? Like this is the, uh, the pound yen off of um, the weekly resistance here. We took the trade and um, uh, just waiting for it here. Uh, to come back down if it does come back down, but I'll probably close this out here sooner than later anyways uh, Since it is Friday. So all right That is it for the new um, Updated feature and I hope that helps you guys and we will talk to you later